some borderline nasty children around the ridge. They get up to some mischief this season, they really do. They get the impression that Henri Christian's a demon and anything that comes into people's lives that are different, like, you know, the dwarf baby of uh, Marceline Fergus, they want to sort of get rid of. Whose idea was this? Will you dare run? I don't even think the kids see it as anything particularly strange at first until there's whisperings from the fisher folk. They wanted to see if he'd fall. And he did. That must mean he's the devil's seed. Man's asset, so. And so Roger explains to them that, you know, He's, he's just as much one of us as any of them are and actually baptises Henri Christian. You trouble him again and Satan will pop up and drag you straight down screaming to hell! As an actor, the great thing about Tom is his contradictions. Because he wants to be this man that he thinks God wants him to be. I have agreed to the operation, but I will not allow you to employ your potions upon me. Why not? Is the devil's work. And all the time, inside of him is his human reaction to everything. I want to apologize to you for my behavior this morning. I can see how the idea had been put to sleep might seem peculiar. There's an intimacy that is created when you're working on a patient, and for Claire, you know, she's used to that in a certain way, but it's also how she really gets to know people. Why do you never wear a proper cut or cap? You know, even though he says these terrible things about women and where their place should be and what they should be wearing and what they should say and what they shouldn't say, she can see that behind that there's someone who's much kinder and gentler. Well, Malva's, she's clever, you know, and she's in survival mode. She just needs to get her way and she uses her womanhood to, to get that. Young lass like yourself? Surely you've done no wrong. Looks can be deceiving. I think she sets off trying to maybe manipulate and trying to get what she needs from this. And then she sees his, his heart and his soul. Do they mean something? And I've done much that I'm proud of, much that I regret. You've lived then. I have. And she thinks it might be something beautiful. To be honest, young Ian's kind of happy to go along with it, you know? Here's this beautiful girl who's obviously interested in him. Um, and again, it, it goes to show that the young Ian maybe is beginning to open himself up to the possibility of love again, which is nice to see. I think Marcy confessing to Fergus that she killed Lionel is coming from a place of trying to show him that she can take care of herself and to try and snap him out of this despair that he seems to be in over not being able to protect Marcy. I killed him. He said he burned the house down over our heads. I don't need a woman to protect me! All it does is give her less hope and put her in a darker place. But he comes from such a dark place, and I'm sure if he had a full hour to explain why it would act like that, he would be understood but it's mainly the point of view of an 18th century man that is the son of Jamie Fraser, you know? And um, I think he, he feels that he's not quite like his adoptive father at this point, you know? There's like a mixture of emotions. He doesn't see that he himself is such a great man. He's achieved so much. He has, uh, you know, a beautiful wife and a great family and uh, is, has done so much for Jamie. Fergus! There's this wonderful scene between the two of them by the river. Jamie comes to his rescue, but also there's this understanding that Jamie also owes Fergus his life. You know, Fergus lost his his hand um, to save Jamie, and I think uh, in, in, a, in a sense there's almost uh, a repayment of the debt here. I'm useless. Useless. But it's you, not what you do or give, provide. It's you we need. It's, it's hard and it's tough for Jamie to see his adoptive son going through this, but it's uh, it's beautiful stuff and it's so great for, for the actors also to, to have something really meaty to put their teeth into.